everyone, it is me, the fabulous Leo Brown, and I'm back on here once again, giving you guys a psychic perspective. So, um, first of all, before I begin, I want to tell you, thank you, say thank you to everybody who's been watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. It means a lot to me. I know that my channel is not for everyone. It isn't. It's not. Um, but I thank you so much for even just coming on and bringing your presence to it because you help make it what it is. And that means everything. So if you follow me on other forms of social media like Facebook or Instagram, then you know I do a thing called star readings. And star readings is basically a celebrity that I pick personally that I feel like, well, if I could have access to any celebrity, like not through their managers, not through their publicists, not through their agents, but any celebrity, who would I want to talk to? And that's how Star Readings came about. Star Readings came about because I was like, you know, I really love pop culture. I love celebrity. But I want to sit down and have a conversation and give them my uh, perspective, give them a one-on-one -on -one reading. So if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you know I do it once a week. And I'll pick a celebrity like I, I've done Joseph Williams, if you know who that is, the misunderstood social worker. I've done T.S. Madison. I've done... A great deal of people and it's led to me doors opening for me which has been fantastic um but with this celebrity i had done a reading for her and um i was actually kind of nervous i will admit this whenever i do a star reading i'm nervous about it even when i do a reading via via youtube like when i come on here and i do a psychic perspective reading i always get a bit nervous because you never know who's watching you never know who may uh, say something. You never know who may um, call you out, which is why I always say I'm 100% human, not 100% accurate. So today's Psychic's, per Psychic's Perspective reading is actress, business mogul, and girlfriend in my head, honey, Vivica A. Fox. If you want to read the original reading that I had done, you can read it because it'll be in the description box below. So just check that, the star reading. It's on my blog, so I'll have a link to that. But I really wanted to do this because Vivica, for me, has always been a standout. She's always struck me as someone who is extremely passionate, but at the same time, very misunderstood. I feel like people know her, but then at the same time, there's a sense of guardedness from her a little bit. Not from her. But I think she'll let you in, but only so, like, so much. But the one thing I love about her that I've noticed that has shown through is that she's always been real. She's always been Vivica and Janetta from Indianapolis, Indiana, okay? And she hasn't really changed. And I love that about her. And I think as she's gotten older, as she's matured, she's gotten more into herself. So I figured, why not come on here and... Give her, because you never know, she may watch it, give her and her fans a lovely treat and see what's coming up for her. So, here is my psychic perspective on Vivica Fox. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. So, Vivica, honey, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Hello to you. Um, you are awesome. I think you are a beautiful woman inside and out and love you to death. Love your work. Keep inspiring and motivating us. Okay, so here we go. Um, the first thing I get around Miss Vivica, honey, is I get right now, I get a lot going on with career, career staffs. So this tells me that career right now, she is really in the makings. And it's funny because I'm seeing contracts. She's in the makings of expanding her brand, making it bigger than what it is now. Um, I'm getting hair care, um, hair care products, shampoo, conditioner, serums. Um, I'm getting hair care and skincare, believe it or not. Like, I feel like her, like the brand, because I know she has the Vivica Fox hairline, which has, you know, wigs and things like that and extensions, but I'm seeing it grow. I get it getting bigger. And I want to say I get the number two around it. So either within the next two years, it's going to get bigger. Um, I'm also getting that she's doing, in terms of business, 
I'm seeing her be more selective about it too. She really doesn't want to get into anything that will ruin her brand or anything that she's not passionate about. A lot of what I'm getting with, with her right now is her producing. I'm getting her do, um, doing a lot of behind the scenes work, producing, directing, even writing. Writing in particular, because I'm seeing, I keep seeing writing. Um, I'm also getting that there may be some plays, because I'm seeing theater as well coming in. So she's got some stuff. She's got some things coming coming in right now. But at the same time, I'm also getting that she doesn't want to put her energy into things that are not worth it. She's Viv is Vivica is more about, and if you're watching this, honey, I'm I'm speaking directly to you now. You're more about yourself, and not in a selfish way, but in a way of loving you, and you're happier happier than you've ever been in years. Um, I feel like the last four to six years have definitely been learning uh, lessons for you, and you've grown a lot emotionally. You're a lot more compassionate. Um, you're a lot more open with yourself. And you're a lot more honest with those you love and those you care about. For some reason, too, I'm seeing something where you want to give back, helping with charity or giving back to children as well, um, which is good. Because it looks like in the past, you kind of, I won't say you made some bad choices, but it's like you look back and you're like, mm, I want to say I get two years ago. Two years ago, you, you made good choices, but... It could have been better. It could have been formulated better. And I get a lot of that to do with business. Um, I'm also getting a lot to do with, because I keep seeing it, because I'm seeing like chest and abs and stuff. I'm seeing the review, because we, we all know she has the black magic. Um, that's going to start coming coming back even more so than it is now, and even better than it is now. Um, I'm also getting that there may be, I'm seeing reality shows. There's going to be more than one. And if she's not in them, she's going to be behind the scenes of them, like executive producing. So I definitely see that coming along as well. So she's got some things up her sleeve. She's not done. She's far from finished. Um, yeah. And just with yourself, Vivica, what I'm getting around you now is that you just really are very careful of what you put your energy into. And that's people, that's places, that's things. Um, you're more spiritual than you've been in a long time because I keep seeing this. I keep seeing her praying. I'm, I'm picking up meditation, yoga, anything to quiet the mind. Um, I'm also getting ancestry connections. Like I, I feel like her ancestors are coming to her more. Or she's been thinking a lot about her family, like people that have passed. Um, it, it's funny because I keep being directed towards these, these two cards, which are Judgment and the three of staffs. So what this is telling me is that she really is re-examining a lot of the things she put her energy into maybe even three years ago. And she's like, yeah, we're not doing that again. We put that where back there, as she would say. She's really um, turning a new leaf. And it's almost like she's shedding skin. I'm picking up her losing weight, her becoming more health conscious. Not saying that she hasn't been before. But I just see her being more like, you know what, if it's not healthy for me, either physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, I'm not doing it anymore. So I'm getting a lot of that, which is good. Um, right now, what I get around, Pivka, honey, is that you are just happy as a lark. Everything that you're wanting, everything that you need, you're getting what you want and what you need. Your dreams are coming true. Um, you're making deals. And not just career, but even emotionally, you really know what it means to love thyself. To be to thy own self be true. I feel like that's a big model for you lately. Um, you really are at a point where you just really want you want a sense of peace. You want a sense of contentment in your life. You don't have time for drama right now. And I feel like lately you've had to really let people know, like, look, don't be disrespectful. Now I will cut your throat. Okay, I cut you to the white meat. I swear for the Lord. You, you've had to go there to a lot of people. And you've had to cut a lot of people who were toxic in your life out. But at the same time, you've also had, you've been doing a lot of repair. I feel like you've been repairing a lot of relationships that were not, that at, the, at that moment they weren't good. But now they've gotten better. Um, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I am. I feel like 50 Cent has a lot to do with this. Um, 
And here's why I'm saying this. And I'm not, and I'm not saying this because, you know, that, you know, that's the thing. I feel like they have come to a place with the love, they, like they really do love each other. They have such a love, but it's not a physical. It's more of like, that's my girl. That's my sister. Um, and the 50 Cent that we see, that the public sees, that's not him. He really is a fun, warm, very sensitive, goofy as hell. He's goofy as hell uh, type of person. Um, he really needs to be a comedian because he'd be really good at it. Like, he'd be a great comedic actor. Um, and I just feel like they've really been in each, other, in, in each other's corners for quite some time now. Like, they really have been. And they're more adults. And not only that, but like I said, even just with you yourself, you really are at a point where you're like, you know what? I'm going to love myself. And if that means I have to cut people off in order to do that, or if I have to be the bigger woman and repair said relationships, I will do that as well. So I feel like you really are on a, on a good space, a good place. Um, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting makeup and shoes around you as well. And I get it more so mainly with your brand. I feel like you might be expanding into that too like a clothing line or shoe line or makeup, possibly. Um, 2019 and 2020 are going to be very busy years for you. And I'm seeing you do uh, a lot of film work as well. And if you're not in the films, you're going to be behind, like, behind the scenes. I'm getting a lot of guest starring roles. Um, a lot of your stuff is going to be through like Netflix and Hulu and things like that. Like a lot of the niche networks that are out now. Um, and you may end up doing another TV series because I get something to do with NBC and I feel like it's going to be something dramatic. So that's coming on as well. That's coming along. So you've got a very, like your next two, possibly three are going to be very, very busy years for you. So just be on the lookout, honey, and save that money. Okay. Now what I'm getting, what will help her is the three of cups. This is what will help you. So what I'm getting is celebrate take time to celebrate enjoy the, the in, enjoy the moments that you have because it looks like to me maybe for the past 15 you've been like you've been doing this you know running 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 and now life is saying slow down celebrate celebrate the moments you have celebrate the the small things the things that we as regular people take for granted um Spend time with family, spend time with your friends, your real friends, you know, um, spend time with yourself, take a moment to get away, um, don't be in such a, a rush to chase that money, because I feel like money's going to come to you regardless, really, for real, like, I really do, like, you're never going to be out of money, honey, like, never, because you got your hands tied in a lot of different things, I keep seeing contracts, but what I'm getting is that you don't take the time to enjoy it. Because you're on such that, like, I got to get it, I got to get it. You're on that hustle, which is not a bad thing, Vivica. But what I'm being told is that when you don't slow down, it wears you out. It drains you. So what I'm being shown is take the time to rest. Give yourself some much-needed r and and you will be in a very, very good place. Uh, I'm also picking up that there's going to be some house cleaning coming up with staff. Um, not that your staff is bad. But I just see you kind of wanting new energy, new people, you know, th to, to shake things up a bit, to make things a little bit more uniform, a little bit more better, if that makes any sense. So I'm picking it up as well. Um, now, the last card I drew for her was the illusion card. So what this is telling me is that, you know, what we see and who, and who she is, not that she's two different people because you're not, but I think... When you're not in front of the camera, when it's not about glitter and glamour and celebrity, you're really a down-home girl. But you know how to cut it on and cut it off. And I think now you're learning how to do that. You're learning how to show more of Vivica and Janetta, less of Vivica A. Fox. So you're you're being more real with yourself. And, and because of that, it's showing in your work. People are like, wow, she's just a real girl. She, she's a home girl, you know. And you've always been that way. But I think, you know, like any business, we all do that. We all put on that mask of everything's okay, everything's fine, and da, 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 da. And I'm not saying that I see her in severe pain because I don't. But I just see her being more like, you know, I want to show more of my genuine self. 
Uh, because I think the, the thing of it is, is that people have, people think because you are a celeb that you that you're one way, or that you know you're a diva. That's been, a, and, and I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna address that. People often think about her that she's a bit of a diva, and she. Here's the thing that I get with with her. Here's the energy that, that I'm experiencing. I don't get that you're a diva at all. I think really you're a very genuine woman. It's just that you have standards and you don't have time for bullshit. That's all. And I think you expect your standards to be met. But I'm going to say this, though. I feel like you set your standards maybe a little too high for the people around you. And when they don't meet them, it kind of, that's when the diva <laughs> comes out. So I would just say be more patient and be more patient with yourself um, in terms of just life in general. But I definitely see you learning to be more, more united with you, if that makes any sense at all. That's what I'm getting. Um, and a lot of that has to do with your spiritual background, because I keep seeing you going back, either going back to like, maybe not going home, home, but like going back to things that you know, going back to your roots, revisiting that side of yourself. And there are two, two, possibly four people in spirit that are watching over you. I feel like they're more, for me, they feel like grandparents or great grandparents that are looking over you and they're like, girl, keep doing what you're doing. We're right here. They're, in particular, there's a man. That really is just like, I will, if you need me, baby, I'm here. He's in overalls, a white shirt. It kind of reminds me of like sharecroppers, kind of. But that's the, the imagery that I'm seeing in my mind. And they're, and it's a couple because it's a man and a woman. And they're like, they're watching you. And they're going, if you really need us, we're right here. So, Vivica, honey, you're okay. And I'm going to say this to you. Don't doubt the, the power that you have. Don't doubt your talent uh, and don't doubt yourself because you've got some things going on, honey. You are a beautiful soul, a beautiful woman inside and out. And don't let anyone tell you anything different. Okay? So that was my psychic perspective for Miss Vivica A. Fox. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite um, movie or your favorite piece of work that she ever did. Like, leave it in, in the comments below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Miss Fox, if you see this, thank you so much for even being receptive to this because I know it's not for everybody. But if you ever see this, thank you so very much. Um, thank you to all of you that are watching this right now. I love you uh, for supporting me and supporting my vision and what I'm choosing to do and what I love to do. And uh, until next time, darlings, it is me, the fabulous Leo Brown, and I will talk with you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.